What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Freakies Gaming. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going over everything that the DLC Wasteland Workshop adds to Fallout 4. And obviously, as you guys know, it adds stuff to the workshop and the settlement building of Fallout 4. So let's get straight into this. At the end of the video, we will have a small review and we will have a more in-depth review later on about pros and cons and problems that I have with the DLC, obviously, later on down the road. Now let's get into everything that Wasteland Workshop adds into the settlement building. Here we go. Starting with special, which is the first option, it adds nothing. It does not add anything into the special category. Moving over to structures, it adds concrete structures. It adds... A concrete floor it also adds another variation of the concrete floor so we have two variations of the concrete concrete floor as you could see we have one variation and then we have this variation with like a great type system it also adds concrete walls it also adds concrete wall doorway it also adds this form of concrete wall it adds this form of concrete wall it adds this small type of concrete wall it adds this little pillar of concrete wall. It adds this angled uh, concrete wall right here, sort of like a little angle. As you can tell, it's at an angle right there. It also adds a concrete angled doorway. I believe you could butt these up with the ang other angles, but I can't for some reason right here, which doesn't make any sense to me. But there you go. You have an angled doorway, and then we have a curved. We Yes, we have a curved concrete wall, uh, which I think is really cool. I'll actually probably make something out of this. Uh, I just think that's really cool having a curved concrete sort of a uh, wall like that. I think that's pretty dope. And I'm just going to pop it in there. And I just made a concrete circle for no reason. Now I'm going to take all these concrete walls down. And I will see you guys in a sec. Moving on into concrete roofs. It adds two types of concrete roofs. This one, a solid type of concrete roof with like little uh, crossbars in the middle. And then it adds a second type of concrete roof being this graded concrete roof that we've seen sort of earlier. Uh, those are the two concrete roofs that it adds. It also adds some concrete steps. Uh, these steps don't go up that high, but they go high enough if you were building a small platform, as you could tell. They also have another small form of concrete steps. As you could tell, this one is very tiny compared to the other one. This one is more for building uh, houses in the air and stuff like that, and this one is for more of building like houses on the ground like a cabin or something like that then this brings us into the railing that's added into the game we have this single type of railing we also have this curved type of railing which i think is really cool we also have this small type of railing here and then we have this type of disneyland sort of amusement park railing right there we have those pieces of railing uh, which I think is really cool also. I, I just think everything about this DLC is cool. And since it does add stuff to the settlements. And the settlements, to be honest, were a little bit weak at first. Now we go to doors. We have some new doors in the game. More specifically, a power door. And basically what a power door is. Is as you guys probably can guess, the power door obviously needs power to run. Now the power door, as I was saying, as you can tell, we now have power doors in the game. As you can see, I could turn it off and the door closes and I could turn a switch on and the door will open. Really don't see how that's useful. Would like an automatic door, not really a power door. That's just my opinion. Uh, it also adds a couple of other variations of the power door. Uh, let's see if we could find them here. Here we go. Here is the first variation of the power door. Uh, this is a power door with a red sort of concrete structure with a red door in the middle. Now these ones are all the same. This one is just blue and this one is a white color. Uh, I wish I could get that a little better at an angle. Give me a sec. There we go. As you can tell, this, this power door has a white door. Uh, sort of the same as all these other ones. This one is a actual this one is actually a blue door. I'm not sure if you could tell. That one is blue. And this one over here is actually a red door. So I'm just gonna show you guys how it works. Same as the other our power door. Just perfectly like that. Close it when you need to close it and open it when you need to open it using a switch and a generator. Now, that's all the doors that it adds, I believe. I believe it no adds no other doors. All the other doors were included with the update a while back. Doesn't add any other doors. Fences. It does not add any new fences whatsoever. Miscellaneous. It adds a couple of new miscellaneous items. I believe three new miscellaneous items. Here they are, one being this giant bus right here, 
So I'm just going to place it down, boom, and as you can tell, we now have a bus. You could put these in your settlements, you could live inside them, you could make, uh, I guess you could say, uh, what do you call it? You could make, uh, hmm, you could make sort of, uh, what do you call it? Damn it. You can make walls out of these, sort of line them with your base, use them as a cover when you're under attack. You also have this variation of the bus, which is just a school bus. Uh, and then you also have this trailer here, sort of found on the back of big rigs. You could jump in there, put your little whatever you want in there, and build your own home back there. And that's all that miscellaneous adds. It adds, this DLC adds no new furniture. Uh, kind of a bummer in my opinion. This DLC adds no new chairs. Also kind of a bummer in my opinion. It's just the same chairs that we've seen in past uh, the past update and that's it. Adds no new containers. Also a major, major bummer in my opinion. Also adds no new shelves uh, which does suck. I was hoping that it would add most to furniture. Kind of sucks in my opinion but they do still have a lot of other stuff in this DLC more for cosmetic effects, not really actually building a settlement. Don't know why it's called Wasteland Workshop. Should be called Wasteland Cosmetic fucking effects for your settlement. Then we have a bathtub here. This is already included. I don't know why I said that. Nothing added into the miscellaneous uh, furniture. Decorations. There was nothing added to decorations. Uh, actually, there was stuff added to decorations. My bad. It was these wall mounts. Now, I can't really sacrifice anything for the wall mounts right now. But I'm just going to read the wall mounts out to you guys. Uh, Bowfly wall mount. We have a blood bug wall mount. A Brahmin head wall mount. A cat head wall mount. A death head. A death claw head wall mount. Uh, a mounted dog head. A feral ghoul mounted uh, sort of a wall mount. Then we have a gorilla wall mount. There are now gorillas in the game. Uh, mutant hound head uh, wall mount. We also have a Myler claw wall mount. That's always been here. Uh... And then we have a rad scorpion wall mount, a rad roach wall mount, uh, a mutant hound wall mount, a mongrel wall mount, a stingwing wall mount, and a yagwai wall mount. And this brings me to the paintings and the other decorations. Now, I don't think they added anything to paintings. I'm actually going to check. I believe this was added, but I really don't recognize these. But I don't think these were actually included with the DLC. I didn't really look at paintings for the last update, so these might be included with the last update. But I don't think these were included with the DLC at all, as they really didn't add anything here. Wall signs. Now, these wall signs are definitely new. We now have a liquor wall sign. We have a hot dog wall sign. We have a waffles wall sign. We have a Nuka-Cola float wall sign. We have this books wall sign. We have a candy wall sign. We have a bakery wall sign. We have a stationary wall sign. We have a cell wall sign. We have a salon wall sign. We have a locksmith wall sign. We have a for rent wall sign. We have a no trespassing wall sign. We have a police wall sign. We also now have a drug wall sign in the game, which I think is really cool. I kind of like this one. Can't really attach it to this barn here, though. Kind of sucks. Then we have these decals. Now, these decals are pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, as you can see, they just add a decal. Now, you could place these on anything. Uh, crates, more specifically crates. Most people are going to want to put these on sort of crates. As you can tell, ammo. Uh, you can also do armor, as you can tell. Chems, clothing, uh, components. We also have food, guns, ingredients, uh, loot, <laughs> melee stuff that they added with this DLC. Mods, uh, sabotage. Storage, my bad, I don't know why I read Sabotage Weapons. And we have numbers 0 through 9, and letters A through Z, along with a few little uh, punctuation marks at the end. Uh, there we go, we have a period here, uh, we have a exclamation point, a question mark, and some semicolons with uh, just a blank piece of wall mount for some reason. Those are pretty cool, especially if you are into the lettering and stuff like that. Added no new stuff right there, which sucks. Added no new statues. Now, miscellaneous, they did add a couple of miscellaneous items like this fire pit. As you can tell, it did add a fire pit. That's really cool. It added some of these candles. Uh, let me see if I can get a better shot of the candles. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's the candles right there. Not really too fancy, but they're still candles. We also have a cat bowl that was added to the game. We also have a fire barrel that was added to the game. So now you could simulate being homeless in this evil wasteland. 
we also also what was added is this lantern an oil lantern we sort of have this oil lamp that was added and i believe that is it actually a wall scorn which just adds uh stuff to the walls i'll show you right now boom as you guys can tell it's just a candle with like a fancy uh hold for it which i think is really cool uh added nothing else all that stuff was included with the last dlc moving on into power it adds a new generator and this generator is actually the fusion core generator which is really crazy in my opinion so i'm going to put that fusion core generator away as i am not going to place it down but it does add 100 power so you could power a entire settlement with that alone uh adds no new switches but does add trip mines uh trip wires my bad not trip mines and that's about it it adds new lights i'll show you guys right now on this uh little circle here we have this light right here which is just a cage wall light uh we also have these street wall lights that are added uh right here just street wall lights as you can see and i'm gonna power them up real quick here just gonna grab a wire and pop pop and pop as you can tell there we got some wall mounts some pretty cool street lights they add a lot of light actually uh, then we have this stoplight wall mount, which looks really, really good. Uh, I actually just need a little bit of power for it. So I'm just going to exit this thing real quick. Boom. And then I'm going to put the street wall light right here. And it should go power on perfectly. As you can tell, green, yellow, red. That's pretty sweet. It also adds some floor, uh, some floor, uh, table lamps. Boom and boom. Just adds two table lamps. Nothing too special. Uh, not really great table lamps, I guess you could say. Uh, it adds small little light boxes. Now, I don't care too much for light boxes. It just adds tiny little light boxes. You guys know you can make pixel designs with them and stuff like that. Just want to make pixel art. We also have this cycling light. Now, there is a glitch going right around right now where you cannot actually use the this cycling light, which does suck, even if you uh, power it on. Oh, actually, it works. Okay, mine works. And as you can tell, you could cycle the colors for whatever colors you want them to be. Now, I was reading on forums earlier that this cycling light is glitched for some people, uh, mostly among the Xbox community. So if you are on Xbox, I do apologize if that does not work for you. But you could tell I could just change the color of the lights, and that is pretty fucking cool, dude. That is absolutely amazing, in my opinion, right there. That's probably the sweetest part of the DLC. No, I'm just kidding. The sweetest part of the DLC is traps, and I'll show you guys the traps in a second here. Now, moving on to Neon, it adds a bunch of Neon stuff. Uh, it adds the whole alphabet in Neon and white. It adds the whole alphabet in Neon and red. It also adds the whole Neon alphabet in orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And it only adds one Neon open sign, which I think is really cool. And it sort of has that old school open. And it's not actually turning on, which kind of sucks. So, I'm just going to put that away. But it does have a couple of cool little neon parts. Now these neon signs do also include uh, letters A through Z. All of them do. All colors A through Z. And they also include number 1 through 9 I believe. And a couple of accents which is really cool. A couple of punctuation marks. And then we move over to defense. It does not add any turrets or any guard posts. But it does add traps. Now these traps vary. We have a trap door here. Now the trap door sort of has to be built on top of stairs or on top of like a place where you don't want people to go. Somewhere where really they just fall into. Uh, so I'm just going to put some stairs here real quick for sake of video. Boom. And then apply the trap door uh, in traps which is way in the heck over here. There it is. Boom. Lost it for a second. Found it. And then we have the trap door right here. Boom. I'll just put that right there. And as you could tell, the trap door, you obviously walk on it and you would fall through. That's pretty sweet. Trap door, not only does it add trap door, it also adds this flame, not the flamer, my bad. It also adds this powered spring trap, which basically is what it says it is, is a powered spring trap. You place that down and you would go over it. Actually, I need some power for this bad boy. So I'm going to grab some power for my Jenny here and just lead it over here. Or maybe I'll take it outside and place it right here and then i will add something like that and as you can tell it just goes when it needs to now you need sort of a switch for this which does suck which does make it really really crappy in my opinion uh but back to traps if we go over to traps again 
we see that we have this one and we have now have a spring trap now this spring trap is pretty cool as it does not require power and it's sort of activated by this pressure plate you stand on it and then that thing would come out and obviously kill any raiders or anything like that that was standing on top of them we also have this saw blade trap which is really really cool uh so i'm just gonna pop on the wasteland i'm gonna pop on the workshop thing attach this and as you can tell it sort of uh just goes like that really doesn't do high damage against you i guess these aren't supposed to damage you they are des designed to damage the enemy taking off that we now have these uh little spike traps so you just put these spike traps down and they're pressure activated so if an enemy walks on them they just come up and hit the enemy also really cool uh let's go more into this we also have new resources water a new water resource now you know you could get from the pump here now you could also have this water resource which is a water pump that produces 10 water and it requires four uh electrical though which does kind of suck even if you power it on uh it, but it's really awesome that you could now build uh, a large water pump uh on land and you don't really need to be near water anymore uh, it doesn't add any new food, but it does add a garden plot in the miscellaneous option. Uh, it also does add, I believe this was added uh, with the last deal well, update, but it could have been added with a DLC. Traders will now actually come to your area and sort of hide under there. And the garden plot is really the only thing that they added in resources. So I'm going to open this up here. I'm going to go to food. And as you can tell, obviously, on this garden plot, you could place things like carrots and so on and so forth it does not add any new stores which does suck it does add not add anything in the crafting which does suck the cages now the cages are the biggest part now you could build as many cages as you want which is really cool as you could see here it's a dog cage now once you place the cage down you need to power on the cage once you power on the cage now this is applied to all cages once you power on the cage uh then you got to either be asleep or you have to be away from your settlement to capture creatures. As you can tell, I have some cages over here and we'll get more into that in a second. But once you guys, uh, you guys either have to be sleeping or you guys have to be away from your settlement. And you are guaranteed to capture at least one creature every in-game week, uh, which is really cool. So all you have to do is really go to sleep, come on back, and uh, either the cage will be closed and you would have captured something or it will not be closed and you would have not captured anything and you just do the same thing over now this could easily be abused as you can see i am already abusing it i have trapped multiple gunners and these gunners have some really good equipment on them uh armor stim packs a lot of ammo and stuff like that and i've i'm already abusing it and all you got to do is really go to sleep for 24 hours just come on back and check so right now uh we're going to actually open the cages so i show you guys how they work and here they go they're gonna start to open gonna kill one gunner gonna come down here kill all these other gunners because they're, they're just lined up for me look at that beautiful quamping and as you could tell i killed just a bunch of gunners right there and they had tons of supplies on them guys uh, vegetable starch i've never seen that before he had combat armor this guy had fusion cells a laser pistol with uh some more armor this guy here had some laser pistols with some more armor with a laser rifle uh where's the other guy i'm trying to look for the other guy i don't know where the other guy is at he died but yeah you guys get the drift you trap raiders like that you could really easily abuse this and after each time you capture something and you release it you have to actually repair the trap as you could see it gives me an option to repair to whereas if i go over to a uh not this one too is where if i go over to a new trap like this that hasn't been activated you can see i don't get a repair option but if i do go over to a trap that has been activated i do get a repair option and it does cost a little bit to repair but not as much so that's really cool you could basically uh repair anything uh repair any uh sort of um uh, how do you say you could really repair any um thing that you want to repair and you sort of you have to repair the traps each time my bad you have to repair the traps each time uh, and that's it. That's all the Wasteland Workshop adds, guys, is just those things right there. It does suck. Uh, now, these cages do go from large. Now, I'm going to read all the cages off to you guys. Now, starting with the small cages, Cat Cage, Dog Cage, Mole Rat Cage, Mutant Hound Cage, 
Medium cages include Feral Ghoul Cage, Gorilla Cage, Gunner Cage, Insect Cage, Raider Cage, and Super Mutant Cage. Uh, large cages include a Brahmin Cage, Deathclaw Cage, Myrler Cage. I'll actually build one of these Myrler Cages for you guys real quick. Boom. And then I believe I could also build one of these cages. I cannot build one of those cages. But you guys can tell I now have a Myrler Cage. And I'm just going to power this puppy on. Boop. And then we're going to go wait 24 hours. It does also add this new arena stuff. So if you want p to build an arena and you want people to fight, what you do is set down these arena little targets here. And you assign a settler or a creature that you have tamed. You assign them to the blue one. And then whichever person you want them to fight, you would then assign them to the red one. And you have to keep these people separated or else they will kill each other once they see each other if they are assigned to the platform. So all you do is assign a settler or anything to a platform. Now you could capture creatures and tame them. So you could capture a creature, tame him and put him on this platform. And then put the other creature on this platform, have them duel to the death. You guys get my meaning. Uh, you could just sort of assign the settlers, creatures, whatever you want to each platform. And obviously red team versus blue team. Once you assign them, they just go at it and start killing each other. It also adds this beam emitter. Uh, I can't actually build it since I don't have the perk. Which just calms nearby enemies. And it also adds a quitting timer. Now this quitting timer is very cool. As it just makes a little bell sound. I think it's pretty awesome. I like the sound it makes. So generators, boom. Power it up. And put it right there. And then deactivate. And there you go. That tells the enemies to fight. And this tells them to stop, I think. So let's say I... I'm just going to show you guys one more tra time how the traps work. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to sleep for 24 hours and see if anything activates my traps. All right, guys, it has been 24 hours and we're going to go see if we have captured anything. Now, I was reading on forums earlier that there is a glitch going around where even if you wait an in-game week, uh, sometimes you will not capture anything. As you could tell, I waited one day. I did not capture anything out of all these traps I have. I did not capture my lurk. I didn't capture anything. So I'm going to go wait until we actually capture something. Again, there is a glitch going around right now where even if you wait the end game week, uh, because in the beginning, if you guys don't know, when you set down a trap, the game will tell you, you will, you are guaranteed to capture something with your trap between one and seven in game days, uh, basically a week. And a lot of people have been waiting two weeks, three weeks, and still have not been capturing anything. So that may be a glitch with the game. So buyer beware if you are going to get this DLC. All right, guys. I have waited an in-game week and have not captured anything inside of my uh, traps. Now, again, there I was reading on forums earlier that there is a glitch going around. Where even though you're guaranteed to catch something with your traps by the sort of prompt that pops up when you first place a trap uh as you guys could tell i haven't captured anything uh which does kind of suck but that's all the stuff wasteland workshop adds now is it worth uh five dollars that's hard to say because i think they should have added furniture but i'll talk more about that in a later date and time now do i think the now do i think the uh dlc is worth the five bucks yeah definitely because it'll last you a couple of hours Probably longer than Automatron will because it has to deal with settlements. When you're building a settlement, it does take a long time to gather the supplies to actually build all of this stuff. Uh, which is really crazy. So, is it worth 5 bucks? Yeah, it's going to last you probably longer than Automatron did. And with $5, honestly guys, what can you get? A bag of chips. Uh, maybe a meal at McDonald's if you get it off the value meal. But you really can't get anything for 5 bucks. So I suggest just buying this DLC as it'll add a lot more uh, playtime to the game. It adds a lot of cool features and a lot of cool stuff, you know. So just get it. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. As you guys seen everything I showcased. Anyways, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, remember to drop that like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. Remember to subscribe for the best Fallout 4 tips, tricks, and guides along with Bethesda Talk videos. Uh, and if you have watched the whole video and you have not liked the video and you have not subscribed... Please like the video. Please subscribe. Anyways, it's been your boy Freaky's Gaming. Love each and every single one of you. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.